Welcome to Army Recognition's Defense Web TV News for Monday, July 7th, 2025. Your daily source for global military coverage. Every day we bring you the most important defense stories with dynamic video reports covering land, air, and naval forces. On June 28, 2025, Huntington Ingalls Industries Shipbuilding Division christened the Flight 3 Arleigh Burger Claus Guided Missile Destroyer USS Jeremiah Denton DDG-129 at its Pascagoula shipyard in Mississippi as part of the U.S. Navy's ongoing surface fleet modernization efforts. The christening follows the successful launch of the ship on March 25, 2025, during which the destroyer was transferred from land to dry dock using translation rail cars floated and then moved to pier side with tugboats. USS Jeremiah Denton DDG-129 is the third Flight 3 Arty Burke class destroyer built at HII Singles Shipbuilding and the 36th such destroyer delivered or under construction at the shipyard. It is part of a multi-year procurement deal initiated in 2013 between the U.S. Navy, Ingalls Shipbuilding, and General Dynamics Bath Iron Works. Ingalls delivered the first Flight 3 destroyer, USS Jack H. Lucas, DDG-125, in 2023 and currently has four other Flight 3 ships in production. Flight 3 destroyers introduce major upgrades over earlier versions. DDG-129 features the advanced an spy 6 one air and missile defense radar and the Aegis Baseline 10 combat system, enhancing the ship's ability to detect and respond to modern threats. To support these systems, the ship includes upgraded power and cooling systems, ensuring long-term viability in evolving combat environments. With a full load displacement of 9,217 tons, DDG-129 measures 513 feet in length and is powered by four GELM-2500 gas turbines producing 75,000 kilowatts, reaching speeds up to 31 knots. Armaments include a 127 mm naval gun, a phalanx CIWS, various machine guns, and 96 VLS cells capable of launching a wide range of missiles. The destroyer is also equipped with torpedo launchers for anti-submarine warfare. The vessel supports a crew of 380 and features dual helicopter hangars and a flight deck for two MH-60R Seahawks, enhancing its capability in anti-submarine surveillance and utility missions. Built with a steel hull, Kevlar-type armor and passive survivability features, the ship is designed for resilience in combat. The christening of USS Jeremiah Denton follows US Navy tradition, symbolized by a ceremonial bottle breaking and the presence of a sponsor, to bestow good fortune and formally welcome the vessel into the fleet, blending historical maritime customs with modern naval practice. Stay tuned to Defense Web TV for daily updates on the most important stories in the defense and security world. Don't miss our end of the week roundup, where we break down the key developments across land, air, and sea.